Back here in Nigeria, a lifetime of achievements. That's how colleagues and former bosses of the late Professor Adebayo Adedeji describe him. The former executive secretary of the UN Economic Commission for Africa played many roles in his lifetime, and the diplomatic community gathered recently in Lagos to talk about his work and his person. It's not every day that a star as bright as this is celebrated, even in death. The late Professor Adibayo Adidiji was said to have had a singularly distinguished academic, managerial, national and international, diplomatic and political career, serving Africa and the international community for over four decades, from 1950 to 1991. He is attributed as being the founder and pioneer chairman of the Nigeria National Youth Service Corps and the Economic Community of West Africa under the military government of General Yakubu Gowan in 1975. He was appointed executive secretary of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa in Addis Ababa in June 1975 and was promoted to the rank of United Nations Under Secretary General in January 1978 a position he held successfully until July 1991, when he resigned his appointment to return to his hometown in Ijebode following 16 years of international service. He died on April 25th at the age of 87, after a brief illness. Friends and former colleagues remember the distinguished gentleman he was. He was a role model for me, as uh, one of the few Nigerians who have had a distinguished national service and then transited very seamlessly um, equally to look to an equally distinguished international service. It was a role model for me, but beyond me, the kind of impact he had in terms of economic thinking, in terms of alternative models for development, in terms of serving Africa's interests in international organization, this is what I find outstanding. So, scholar, diplomat, statesman. He brought into government what I think is a substantial intellectual input. Without his training as an economist and without his own perspective from the university of the importance of Pan-Africanism, I, I really do not think that ECOWAS would not have found as good a foundation as it did without the input of Bio. And from there, as I was saying, he was a very good candidate to be uh, the executive secretary of the ECA after Paul Previsch. Um, and one thing he did was to recognize the fact that uh, African intellectuals and policymakers had to work together in rethinking the Africa in post-independence times and eventually in post-Cold War times. He displayed so much intellectual strength and he used that intellectual strength to fight for African cause even when he could lose his job. If, in fact, every time I remember during the structural adjustment program, he took a very different stance that don't take the money from IMF. It would destroy Nigeria, it would destroy the economy, and that happened. Apart from the fact that he had some landmark things he did, like the NYSC, he also touched the lives of um, people economically and even politically, like the Namibian that president was talking about. And he um, was forthright. He was somebody who be believed in a cause and he would fight for it, even if it's to his own injury. So he was a great man. You, uh, all the enconium that can fall on him he deserved. Icon, juggernaut, intellectual powers, and so on. And um, I, I honestly think that uh, Nigeria and indeed Africa has lost somebody really, really great. And I'm happy that it's going to be immortalized. Drawing comparisons from his suggestions and solutions to Africa's problems, they say the drive has waned today as Africa keeps looking to the West for answers. Professor Adedeji was instrumental to the establishment of ECOWAS uh, Commission, which was then Secretariat, because uh, he was then the Federal Commissioner for Economic Development from 1970 to 1975. And he saw the birth of ECOWAS, you know, under the guidance of uh, 
General Yakubu Gowon, His Excellency, and that of the late General Yadema. He was a technocrat that guided the establishment of ECOWAS through the conceptualizations of the Lagos Treaty, the Treaty, the ECOWAS Treaty of May, you know, 28, 1975. And to that extent also, when he got to uh, Addis Ababa as an secretary in general, you know, for UNECA, where he spent 16 years, he also facilitated the creations of other regional economic communities in the continent. He came with a vision, a vision of how to break the monopoly of the, of the divide, the francophone, anglophone divide in terms I, I think so. I think so to the extent that we have been able to break the monopoly of some French institutions. We just saw the French the French president visiting Nigeria. The investments that Nigeria had with France is more than the whole of the Francophone countries put together. So I think to a certain extent we now have the ECOWAS that has really uh, whether through a lot of challenges and all that, that the element of integration uh, within West African uh, sub-region is good at least in terms of the free movement of persons, the rights of movement, the rights of residence, the rights of establishment. There are challenges of integration, there's no doubt about that. But having done that, he moved that into Africa. Other tributes poured in on Twitter. President Mohamedou Buhari referred to him as one of the first people to realize, as far back as the early 1980s, the importance of environment, gender, and governance, which have now become commonplace. 